Alright, in this video, I will discuss about uh, how to simplify this kind of complicated uh, trigo question. Now, this question is a little bit uncommon because you have so many square root, and then this question doesn't ask you to solve it, and this question doesn't ask you to find the uh, find the theta. So basically, what they want you to do is simplify. Alright, so and then they give you a range, which is the theta is between uh, two hundred seventy to three hundred sixty. Okay, first thing is why why is the question give you this range? Okay, the main purpose of giving you this range is they're trying to want you to understand this is at fourth quadrant, cause at fourth quadrant will be always positive. So that means when two plus positive value here, therefore this question uh, this equal uh, this expression itself is solvable because if 2 plus 2 cos theta is negative then it's undefined it's unsolvable so the purpose of this range just want to tell you that this expression itself is solvable so you basically you can just ignore it it's kind of uh, uh you don't need to use the range here All right so how are we going to simplify this normally we, when we want to simplify the uh, expression like this i will always like let the whole thing equals to uh, x or y so that I can actually move around the square root uh, to get something like x square or y square at the other side and then try to solve like that but then in this question you can't do that also so I will say this question is a little bit hard all right so from here um, if I take out the 2 here I will actually will get a 1 plus cos theta uh, which is not so useful as well because the cos doesn't have squares and if there is no way I make a square here, then there's no way I eliminate the square roots, then I cannot solve. So over here, I will do something like uh, a little bit uncommon. Okay, the first thing is I will use a double angle formula, which is only have cos because we have when we go to the cos uh, 2x, we have a formula in there that we know it's uh, cos square x minus sine square x but we have we have three different formula for cos 2x isn't it or we can uh, make this one become 1 minus cos square x and then we will get uh, 2 cos square x uh, minus 1 or we can actually do 1 minus uh, 2 sine square x if you want alright over here okay why I will think about this formula is because there's a square here and then square might be able to help me to eliminate the, the square root. So the first of the reason. Okay, so when I want to choose, right, uh, normally I will choose uh, the second one or the third one because I don't like have the cos and sine at the same expression, make my expression even hard to solve. So over here, I will try to choose the second one Later, I will tell you why I would do that. All right. So if I choose the second one, cos 2x will actually equals to 2 cos square x minus 1. One of uh, the main reason I will choose the second one is because the minus 1 here. If I move my minus 1 to the other side, actually I get cos 2x plus 1 is equals to 2 cos square x. Because I need a plus 1, because I see something like plus 1 here, because if I factorize out the 2, I kind of have cos x plus 1, isn't it? Cos x plus 1, something like this. Similar, but then it's, this is cos 2x, I understand. Alright, so, okay, if I want to make it look like this, what I will do again is, I multiply 2 for both sides. So that means, I will multiply 2 here, and I multiply 2 here. So then I will get 2 cos 2x plus 2 is equal to 4 cos square x. Alright, this one and this one is so similar. Only the theta is not the 2x or else they are exactly the same thing. So what I want to do is, can I simply change the theta? Uh, we can't but we can let theta equal to something else and the final answer we change it back then we can we can always do that so what i will do is okay then i let my theta is equal to 2x so if i let my theta equals to 2x then i will have 2 plus square root 2 plus 2 cos 2x 
And if you see carefully here, you see carefully here, 2 plus 2 plus cos 2 plus 2 cos 2x, two, 2 plus 2 cos 2x is exactly the same thing. Then the whole thing will actually equals to 4 cos square x. So I will just substitute it into here, 4 cos square x. Because what? Because 4, I can square root, it's a perfect square number, and I get it too. Cos square, I square root, it becomes cos. Then, therefore, when I simplify, I will get back 2 plus 2 cos x. Alright, so what is 2 plus 2 cos x? Then we actually uh, getting back to something like this. Uh, 2 cos 2x plus 2. We want to get 2 cos 2x plus 2, but then this is 1x. So what I will do again is, okay, I let y will equals to... Okay, my y maybe equals to... Okay, my I let my x equals to 2y. Because why? Because I want to substitute it. So what I will do is, this one become 2 plus 2 cos 2y. So what is 2 cos 2y is, I just need to change this one into y. 2 cos 2y plus 2 will equal to 4 cos square y. So therefore, if I do like this, I can actually change this one into the square root of 4 cos square y. And then, by simplifying this one, I know this one should be 2 cos y. But, because I want my answer in your theta, then you need to know the relationship between them. So therefore, I will sub my x into here, into this equation. I will actually, I getting theta will equal to 4y. So therefore, my y actually is theta over 4. It's theta over 4. So if I got my y here, so what I will do here is, I will just straight away say my final answer is 2 cos y here, isn't it? What is my y? My y will be theta over 4. So this is my final answer. <laughs> yeah, I know the question like this is a little bit crazy because you kind of need to do a lot of substitution. And then, but I guess this is the only way to solve uh, the complication, the complicated question like this. Yeah, I hope you can understand what I'm trying to do here. First is, I try to find out what formula I can use to substitute into this expression. So, based on some try and error, so then I know, okay, maybe I can use the double angle formula. Because this minus one and move to the other side, it will become the plus one. And then you can try to factorize out the two, or what I'm doing here is, I lazy to factorize, so I just time two for both sides, then I have something like, so similar to it, but then this is double angle, but then this is like, uh, one angle only, it's not double. So what I've been doing here is I let the theta equals to 2x so that I can sub in the whole formula into here. So when I sub into the whole formula, I solve it again, then I'm actually getting 1x, which is not the double angle. If not the double angle, I cannot use this formula to sub in. So therefore, I change again for x into the 2y so that I can sub again, make it into a y. But because they asked me to simplify this one into a theta, Therefore, at the end, my final answer, I need to change it back into the theta. So I need to know the relationship between theta, x, and y. So therefore, I resubstitute in, then I know, oh, my y actually is theta over 4. Alright, so yeah, I hope this video can help you to understand how to solve this kind of complicated question. So next time when you see something similar in your exam, you know how to do. Alright, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.